Hey, what's going on? How are you today? Today, we're gonna talk about New Year's resolutions. Have you made one yet? What is it? Drop it below. I'm curious to know what you've set for yourself for this year. And to be completely honest, I've ditched New Year's resolutions. I don't make them anymore. I actually created work for myself, but you know, for the year, kind of like a word to kind of, you know, keep me on track a little bit. Um, kind of what my goal is, my vision is, and kind of surround my activities and my mindset around that. But I wanna to talk to you about New Year's resolutions because I see so many people making them. You know, they're really excited to set these huge goals for themselves for the year. And what I see sometimes is people falling off track days within the new year, weeks within the new year, and months within the new year, and they completely fall off track with their New Year's resolutions. And what that does for people is, you know, that feeling alone does not feel good. You set yourself up almost for failure. You know, you start to feel defeated. You start to feel like, you know, I can't do this. Um, you know, and it's hard to kind of get past that. So in today's training, I'm going to give you three tips that will specifically help to really get you back on track if you are a person that has made a New Year's resolution. And I'm actually going to be sharing with you my number one resource that I'm using right now. I'm actually using it right now. And I'm going to share that with you. Uh, my little secret sauce as to how I'm staying on track um, this year. So welcome, um, welcome to this live training. If you're meeting me for the first time and seeing me for the first time, my name is Melissa Kibler and I help entrepreneurs and home business owners really get on the fast track to success using simple and effective social media strategies. I'm all about working smarter, not harder, to really help you to align your business with activities um, that you feel good about, you know, creating that purposeful life and business. So if you're tuning in with me live, make sure you let me know who you are, where you're tuning in from. I love the engagement here. Um, so definitely interact with me and let me know, you know, if you're joining me live and if you're catching the replay, drop a replay. And I'd love to come back and say hey to you as well. So let's dive in here today. So New Year's resolutions. So my top three tips, if you've fallen off track, to help keep you going strong throughout the new year, um, throughout the entire year, these tips are gonna really help to get you back on track. So tip number one is, most importantly right now, I want you to do a self audit for yourself. So think about what goal, what specific goal have you set for yourself? And anytime you're making a goal, um, I love to always have a, an end goal in mind, your desired end result. So it's very specific, it's very focused, but most importantly, it's measurable. So you want to be able to go back and see your results at the end of your year. Um, but I like, again, I like to create goals all throughout the year. So breaking that down into you know, months, uh, weeks, daily goals, things like that, something that you can measure to help keep you on track. But what do I mean by a self audit? So for example, think about the goal, the specific goal that you've set for yourself, and I want you to do a self audit. So for example, if you set for yourself a health and wellness goal of, you know, I wanna be in the best shape of my life, I wanna feel strong, I wanna go to the gym, I wanna work out, or maybe it's a weight loss goal or something like that, you want to do a self audit on yourself. So you start to ask yourself, okay, what is it that I'm doing? Am I doing those activities to actually get me stronger, to actually lose weight or to actually, um, you know, to be in the best shape of my life and to be healthy? Are you doing those things? Because sometimes we make these big goals for ourselves, but if we actually look back on the activities, hey Mike, good morning, how are you today? Thanks for tuning in live. So what we find is we make these huge goals for ourselves, but if we look back on the specific actions that we're taking, now this can be in life or in business, sometimes we look back and we're like, mm, maybe I'm not really showing up the way I should be showing up to meet and achieve these goals, right? So if it's a health goal, it's like, okay, let's do this self audit. How often are you working out? How often are you putting clean foods into your body? How often are you drinking the water like you said you're gonna drink every day? Now, when it comes to business, same thing, right? We have these huge, huge business goals and we all want success like overnight, don't we all, right? And we all know like, you know, if you're looking to really build a strong, sustainable, thriving online business, a six-figure business, so a lot of people want is a six-figure online business, right? That true time and financial freedom. So you have to really ask yourself, have you ever, achieved a six-figure business in your life? Have you ever achieved a six-figure 
online business in your life. That's going to take some time. That's going to that's gonna um, force you to really take that accountability and ownership in your business, really treating your business like a true professional. You know, when I was in the teaching profession, I had lesson plans every single week. I was making my lesson plans and getting ready for the week and my students. It's no different than your online business. So my lesson plans right now are my weekly planning and you know scheduling my posts and things like that. You gotta think of all those activities that you need to do in your business online. Absolutely, Mike, you have to level up. You have to do this self audit for yourself. I love that you say that level up because it's so true. You have to do that self audit for yourself and really ask yourself. It's that evaluation that so many people are lacking in their business and really ask yourself, am I really doing the things? Because if you want to achieve those big results, you know, in your business, um, but yet you don't have time to put those business activities in your day, you know, if you're working full time for busy mom and things like that, then that's something that you have to look back in your schedule and cut things out, you know, to be completely honest and blunt, like that's just what you have to do in your business to, you know, st to stay in motion and to be able to stay on track for what you want to achieve. So that's kind of, you know, what I mean by self audit, um, is really looking at your daily activities and really seeing how am I showing up for myself? How am I showing up for my business? What activities am I doing on a daily basis to help me get there? And are they effective, right? Because sometimes we can feel like we're busy. We can feel like, you know, I'm doing work. I, it's not that I'm not doing work, right? Because we all work really hard. I'm sure everybody, single one, oh, every single person that's on here works really hard and they're doing the things, right? So you have to ask yourself, okay, if I'm doing all the things, that I feel like I need to do, but I'm still not getting anywhere, that's where you have to go back and reflect and do this self audit. Are those things really working for you? Is it something where it just takes time? Is it something that, you know, for me personally, it really comes down to a skill set. So maybe there's an area that you're gapped out in, in your online business, that you just need to really develop that patience to learn the skill set. So hopefully that inspires you and gives you some hope this morning. If you're feeling like you're kind of falling off track in your business a little bit, do that self audit. I can guarantee you it's going to help you to stay on track and really refine and evaluate what's really going on in your business. Now, I know I talked a lot about step one, my, my number one tip, because it's so, so important to do that self audit and evaluate. But number two is you need to also make the commitment and be super, super disciplined in your business. I cannot stress that enough. Nobody can do that for you. No mentorship, no system, nothing. That comes within yourself to really level up, like Mike said, to, to really step into it, to take that um, control over your business, um, your life and where you're headed, and to have that commitment and that discipline. And I was gonna wait until the end to share with you my number one resource, but what has really, really helped me in my business to hold myself accountable, to be committed and disciplined and to persevere through those failures and through those tough times is this book here. It's called Miracle Morning. If you have not read this book yet, make sure you get your hands on this copy today because it's seriously a game changer. It's going to help you to see things differently. It's going to help you to also find those pockets of time and to really set yourself up, especially in the morning, um, but really depending on your schedule, you can do this any time of your day, but to really, you know, um, making sure that you are you know, really setting yourself up for success the best way that you can. So it's called Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. It's a super quick read. This is actually the second time that I'm going through this book. And I encourage you to, like I, I'm always about personal development and reading and I have my top you know, five books and I will read them over and over again. I actually highlight, I read, you know, I take notes, I fold pages. So I go back and I, when you read a book, what you wanna be able to do is implement those strategies, take the action on what you're actually reading on and apply that to your life and your business. Now, number three, my number three tip, I kind of actually intertwined them, I'm sorry, but 
Um, so number two is commitment and discipline. Number three is accountability. And what I mean by accountability is go grab yourself an accountability partner. Just like, you know, when you're going to the gym and you have an accountability partner that's going to meet you at the gym, you know, how much more likely are you going to be able to make sure that you go to the gym that day when you don't feel like it, right? You make sure you're showing up because you know somebody's going to be there. Same thing with your business. Make sure you grab and find an accountability partner that you can keep each other on track, right? So it's really holding yourself accountable, but really having that person to be there for support if you need to, you know, like a, on a weekly basis or just being able to stay in touch and have that support as well. So hopefully you got some awesome, awesome value today. Drop hashtag value. If you got some value on this, please share this out with a friend or somebody that you know that has kind of fallen off track already and you're hearing you know, their, them talk and their conversations and you wanna be that friend to kind of help get them back on track, definitely tag them in this video and share it out. Um, you know, this is just for everybody to really just you know, again, um, I want everybody to be able to achieve their goals that they've set them for themselves. So there's no reason why we can't. It's just, you know, having that discipline and, um, and you, and you know, and that's really, that's really it. So using these three tips that I shared with you and hopefully again, grab that copy of the book because that's helped me tremendously. So thank you so much for tuning in, watching. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to spend that with me today and learning and being able to, um, you know, what you're really doing is that you're really investing in yourself. You're investing in your learning and you're really investing in yourself to, you know, achieve those big things, to really create that lifestyle that you know you are meant to have. So thanks again for watching. Tune in again. You know, I'm, I go live almost daily here on the page. So if you haven't yet liked the page, make sure you go up there, like the page and change those notification settings to see first so you never miss a tip or training that I provide here. So take care and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.